next SCP? She... I have to go in a few minutes, but oh. she should be nicknamed oh, Karen. She should be nicknamed Karen. Karen's generally, at the very least, to my knowledge, generally are the ones that are really spreading. Yeah. Susan. What? Susan. Su it's either Karen oh. or Susan. <laughs> Anyway, the next SCP is actually one of my favorites. And oh, I oh and no. actually part of my character for uh my channel's character is actually from this SCP. Is it the laughing bastard? N no. But it is also a very popular one. I think it's actually more popular than Laffy. Is it the mask? No. What the fuck is it? Not not that popular, but still popular. But, is it a trench coat? SCP-354 is a pool of red liquid discovered in oh, northern yeah. Canada. The liquid is a consistency similar to that of human blood, but it is not of a biological nature. The pool does not have definite banks, soil mixes within liquid until at a certain point there is more soil than liquid at the ground is mostly solid. The liquid becomes denser as one descends deeper into the pool. If the pool has a bottom, it has yet to be reached. Not true, because they actually did go through. But, anyway. Not... Lighter addendum. Yeah, lighter addendum. <laughs> Periodically, entities emerge from the pool and attempt to escape from the enclosure. Thus far, nearly all creatures emerging from SB-354 have been extremely hostile and highly dangerous. SC3, SCP-354 is believed to have been first discovered and redacted by survivors of a plane crash who encountered SCP-354 by chance. SCP-354 had developed in, into a local urban legend long before the Foundation personnel arrived to deal with the threat. After locating the source of the legend, SCP personnel set up Wash Station Epsilon 38 to monitor the pool to deter future travelers from fighting it. SCP-354 was classified as Euclid until its properties were fully discovered. At 14.03 hours on redacted, an unidentified entity emerged from SCP-354. Contact with Wash Station Epsilon 38 was lost. Global Task Force, redacted, was dispatched to deal with the entity and were eventually successful. All personnel at Watch Station Epsilon 38 were found dead. Area 354 was subsequently constructed to contain SCP-354. Now, on to the entities. SCP-354-1, original entity which destroyed Watch Station Epsilon 38, resembled a giant bat. Neutralized by Mobile Task Force Redacted. SCP-354-2 Bear-sized mammalian creature covered in razor-sharp spines, resembled an echidna, was virtually bulletproof, but was unable to escape the enclosure surrounding the pool. Neutral neutralized via napalm. That's exactly what I was thinking too. <laughs> Anyways, I have to go to sleep, so good night. Angie Knuckles. See, night, see, ya, see ya, dragon. Technically, Knuckles is our always angry, and then he got dumbed no, down. Anyways, okay. good night. Good night. Oh, thank God. <laughs> anyway, SCP-354-3, black metallic sphere capable of levitation, emitted con concentrated levels of radiation in precise directed beams, sufficient to instantly cripple and later result in death. Then, area head doctor redacted struck SCP-354-3 with a sledgehammer, sledgehammer disabling SCP-354-3, then self-detonated, causing minor structural damage and severely wounding Dr. Redacted. Dr. Redacted made a full recovery and has been commended for his bravery. SCP-354-4, humanoid reptilian creature approximately... 4.6 meters tall, escaped both the walled enclosure and Area 354 altogether. Gunfire caused very little physical harm and was highly ineffective. 
Mobile Task Force Omega 7 Pandora's Box was dispatched and was successful in neutralizing the creature. Now, the next one will have the most information. SCP-354-5, data expunged. Good job. <laughs> you had one job, right? <laughs> Be truthful. <laughs> SCP-354-6 appeared to be a human male of Indian scent, as, a, as the enclosure around the pole had not yet been fully re repaired. SCP-354-6 was immediately shot before I had the chance to escape. Area head Dr. Redacted had expressed his displeasure in the rash, rash execution of SCP-354-6, which testing revealed to be identical to an average human being. SCP-354-14, majority of the creature's body remained well beneath the surface of the pool. Five octopus-like tentacles were seen emerging from the pool and reached up over the enclosure. Several D-class personnel were grabbed by the tentacles and pulled back up beneath the surface of the pool. After receiving massive damage from gunfire, SCP-354-14 retreated back into the pool and disappeared. No personnel taken by the creature were recovered. SCP-354-15 Feline creature composed of blue-hued crystalline structure later revealed to be ice. Was able to jump above the wall enclosure and was agile enough to dodge most gunfire. Was actively hostile and mauled any personnel that engaged it. Subject engaged SCP-354-16 upon its emergence from the pool and was terminated in the fight. SCP-354-16, feline creature composed of a dark red black stone, later revealed to be partially solidified magma. Gunfire proved most ineffective against this hide, was not hostile to personnel, and did not attempt to escape the wall of the enclosure until being engaged by SCP-354-15. Successfully terminated SCP-354-15 and grew less active as its body cooled. After fully solidifying and having remained motionless since, the subject has moved to Dr. Redacted's office for aesthetic purposes. SCP-354-18, metallic humanoid machine described as several D-class personnel as a Terminator. Subject possessed a cloaking device rendering it invisible to human eyes. Subject was highly adept at combat and killed 90% of Area 354's guard personnel as it rampaged through, through the facility approximately 60 minutes after emerging from the pool. Subject ceased function and powered down. Subject was dismantled and its power cell was disposed of. Subject's remains were under study. Now there, mm. now, there was actually a story about 18, though, because someone wanted to go more into it. Yeah, apparently it destroyed a tank. <laughs> Wait. <gasps> okay. I wish I had thought of keeping a comprehensive list of these things so we could name them all sorts of wacky things <laughs> while you were going along. But in my head so what we have that's come out of here is super angry bat creature uh sonic the hedgehog character knuckles just some random guy they shot dead and a flying sphere yeah flying radiation blasting sphere uh let's see magma kitty uh, Ice Kitty and the Watcher from Lord of the Rings. And a reptilian creature. Yeah, and, and Lizard Man. Or, alternatively, the Lizard from Spider-Man. Oh, and also the Kraken. <laughs> That's what I meant by the Watcher from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Oh. Have, you, have you seen the Lord of the Rings? No, not really. I didn't feel interested. Oh, fair. Honestly, the, when you said the Watcher, I thought you were talking about the RoboCop. <laughs> I, mean, I shouldn't call it oh, that. No. <laughs> anyway. No. And, the, uh, and, and, and in that case, yeah. Invisible Terminator. 
<laughs> the, the one at the bottom is Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> but yeah, um, the uh, <laughs> specifically uh, for the five five people at most watching the stream, if you don't know. The Watcher is the technical name for the gigantic squid creature that attacks the Fellowship outside of the secret door to Moria. You know, all right. And I believe, so. yeah, and like the lake is still growing, but like the Foundation is having difficulty, you know, keeping it from growing. Yeah, so I think that, um, while this thing is pretty damn dangerous, it's only certain groups. Because as cool as it is, like, it's still just an incredibly slowly growing, growing pool that spits out otherworldly abominations that have been, while problems for the Foundation, still consistently able to be managed. Barely managed. Yeah. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. I'm going to comment, it's kind of like a rift entering some version of hell that spits out <laughs> its demonic spawns. And it's kind of like the foundation is fighting back the hell spawns. Plus that one random Indian guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't have a chance. They were just like, fire. <laughs> he, he just walks out. They shoot him dead. <laughs> he just like before him can you blame them i mean yeah like like on one hand like i can understand like the the containment's already kind of busted so when you see another thing come out you're like shoot first ask questions later but still this is the scp foundation it's the secure <laughs> contain protect not shoot to kill foundation <laughs> well like i said you know that is one of the more dangerous scps so you can't blame them for like the fuck is gonna come out next? We gotta shoot whatever it is. Yeah, like I said, like, like I said, it's an understandable response from the people on staff, but still, <laughs> like, 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 think if those people had just been a slightly more, like, slightly more composed, we could have like gotten a lot of information out of said Indian guy, assuming he wasn't like irrationally angry or something. You're also you're also assuming he would actually know how to speak a language from Earth. Oh, that's true. Yeah. What if he well, point... spoke some weird alien hellscape language instead? Well, still, there there would be the potential to gain information about the place where these things are coming. If you from. could ever translate what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. Well, plus... yeah, but but don't forget that that's something that humans have had to do at multiple points yeah like well, translating yeah, completely there's a different load of languages that we still haven't translated at all well yeah like obviously it's an arduous task but if there's any organization that'd be able to manage it it'd probably be the scp foundation sure that is very fair so anyway certain groups and a very interesting scp yeah, that's why I want to finish. In fact, um, the Terminator is actually th the main body of the of my channel's character. Oh, okay. Wait, so your doctor? Wait, so does that mean Doctor Bright put his necklace on the Terminator thing? Yep. <laughs> you would I, think I, you I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that sounds like that sounds so in character that I wouldn't be surprised if it was canon. <laughs> Like to the actual SCP Foundation, oh, not our, not your personal version. Hey, actually, of I don't think I don't think you noticed, but they actually tested uh, Doctor Bright with six eight two to see what would happen. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Apparently, a part of uh, a part of Doctor Bright's consciousness is forever stuck in six eight two's mind. Oh yeah, I think you had mentioned that one. <laughs> I think I saw that on one of the, uh, the attempts. I sent to you. Kill six eight two videos. Yeah. They yeah. also tried using a Nerf gun, but anyway, next SCP. Oh yeah. To kill 682. It's he's never gonna die. He's just gonna piss off people more. Also, bright. 
Right. It's it was a little more than just a nerf gun. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But I just like calling it that. I mean, it's 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 funny, but it, it just had, it had a few properties other than just being a foam dart shooter. I would find it funny if they actually did. <laughs> it just like like Bright just walks into his containment one day and it's like, hey, start shooting him with a Nerf blaster. <laughs> Again, something that I wouldn't be surprised if Bright did. Yeah. Okay. All right. About to freak out. Just sudden silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, the next SCP. Um, if you don't like insects, I suggest you don't listen. I am an insect. <laughs> you can't prove me wrong. I am a snake, but I will still listen. Uh. Oh, sensibility. SCP three six. Three are identical to I'm going to butcher this Latin uh, Scolopendra gigantea or the Amazonian giant centipede dietary needs are identical and DNA inspection has proven no dissimilarities to the normal Italian uh, Italian species name I'm not saying it again uh you mean Latin species name? Yeah, a Latin species name, yeah. I don't know why it's Italian. <laughs> well, I mean... Italians are very good at Latin. <laughs> yeah, like, like Latin is the language that, like, is the core of all romantic languages. And Rome was in modern-day Italy, so it's, it's, it's an understandable word association. But it's not... It's not specifically... Italian. Right. Anyway, move on. SCP-363 is under normal circumstances the appropriate size f for this species. In darkness, which it actively seeks out, however, SCP-363 will grow rapidly and, and erratically to the sizes up to 2 and exceeding 10 meters by 2 meters. SCP-363 does not retain the form the form of a centipede under these conditions. So far, reports have documented uh, proboscises, tentacles, highly elongated mandibles, and inconsistent number of eyes and legs, and in one case, data expunged. Wait, is that it? No. Uh, hold on, I was typing okay. a message to Pika. But anyway. Oh, okay. SCP-363 will revert back to normal size and appearance after two to three hours of illumination at, of a level of at least 50 lux. SCP-363 will attack any animal emitting body heat and appears to be able to detect and hunt in total darkness. It is assumed it uses other senses to hunt with vision in a, a secondary position. Reproductive cycle of SCP-363 is similar to that of normal latin name with one difference rather than in a cluster of leaves and dirt eggs are laid and fertilized in the redacted cavity of paralyzed data expunged followed by death we can pretty much refer to what they are laying eggs in <laughs> but yeah that's end of description right so Big, big angry centipede that will grow to become an eldritch abomination if exposed to too much darkness. Uh, yeah, that's that's magic. Yeah, and uh, apparent. I, I really love the the name of the MTF that actually caught it. They're called the creepy crawlies. <laughs> Wonderful MTF name. <laughs> You're definitely not going to get mocked at any meetings. <laughs> so, um, I think that this thing would be certain, uh, certain groups, because while it gets big and it gets aggressive, like it's not, it's it's not going to multiply or 
get big and aggressive enough to destroy much more than that, in my opinion. Yeah. What do you think, Jerry? What are your thoughts, Professor Raveler? I mean, I kind of agree with with like, Hatchet. Like I said, but I guess Discord sounded out. I agree. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I mean, I, I mean, if you stay in a room full of light, it can't hurt you. Yeah, and like that's the other thing is it's pretty easily contained. Literally, just do white torture except on the insect and you're fine <laughs> which that just immediately brought me back to how fucked up white torture is anyway yeah no pretty pretty easy to manage yeah. little bug apparently before I read this SCP apparently it's a warning that it's extremely contagious memetic infection so we're oh. all about to die. Damn it. <laughs> can I can can we at least wait to read it until I'm done playing Hades? No. No. Damn it. <laughs> anyway. Also, we will not be infected. How do you well, know? It may be an emetic, but I'm sure there are things that we've already done beforehand, so we won't die reading. <laughs> yeah, we're already dead. <laughs> <sighs> Clearly not dead. Read it. Anyway. But how do you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is pretty damn obvious we're not dead. Read. Anyway, SCP-370 is a key. The size, shape, material, and general appearance of SCP-370 are unknown. Knowledge of these characteristics is the primary factor of the spread of the 370 disease. Therefore, all records thought to contain such information have been destroyed without review. This is wait, I'm... wait, what? Okay, I'm sorry. I just gotta like comment on the writing here. Yeah. Maybe this will be uh made better by later parts of the article. But if knowledge about the nature of this thing of the description of it being a key like that if that's the thing that's the manetic image why the fuck is that description not redacted <laughs> like granted like storytelling like yeah we want to we want to make sure hey everyone it's a key but knowing about the fact that it's a key is the issue just redact <laughs> that and move on anyway go ahead right the disease caused by SCP-370 has three distinct sets of symptoms. Vaccinations SCP-370-A, B, and C. The form of the disease appearing in any given subject appears to be determined primarily by personality. SCP-370-A manifests most frequently in subjects characterized by their peers as self-centered or cowardly. In his most common manifestation, subjects suffering from SB37-A show no symptoms upon the initial infection. However, these subjects will commit, I'm not going to say that word on Twitch, as soon as they have the uh, have an opportunity to do so with minimal suffering. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can understand what I, why I couldn't say that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have to say it. <laughs> we shall say... Uh, self-inflicted uh, <laughs> bye-bye juice. Self-inflicted bye-bye juice. <laughs> the instance the subject's heart ceases to beat, the infect infected corpse will grow brilliantly and undergo an unknown transformation. Detailed knowledge of the transformation is a vector for the infection as a direct visual contact with the light produced. No trace of any part of the subject's corpse have ever been recovered following this transformation. The majority of SP-370-B subjects are commonly described as both extroverted and altruistic. However, an identical manifestation of SP-370-B appears in individuals with strong sadistic or violent tendencies. 
subjects infected with SCP-37-B initially become very calm. This stage lasts for several seconds and is followed by a sudden, unprovoked assault on anyone within the subject's reach, which continues into an indiscriminate a killing spree. Persons killed by the infected subject will grow br brightly and undergo an unknown transformation, presumably the same or similar to that of, of the... Not saying that word. <laughs> Initially, the infected subject is no more dangerous than an ordinarily fine human. However, after approximately killing two to, to three victims, the subject's body will begin to radiate yellow light. This light appears to inhibit the, the symp sympathetic nervous response of the subject's victims, making it difficult for victims to fight back. After after approximately five to six successful kills, the light triples in intensity and the direct skin-to-skin -skin contact with the subjects become deadly. At this point, any eye contact with the victim becomes a contagious factor. After killing an average of 12 victims, the subject will abruptly cease hostilities and enter its final phase of SB37-B infection. Subjects will raise its arms skyward and shout in a slightly amplified voice, Redacted, take me home. This sound seems to pass through soundproof walls and industrial strength earmuffs with only slight muffling. Infection of all human beings within earshot is virtually guaranteed, except in cases of sensory deafness. After this cry, a shaft of radiation and visible sync. Spectrum forms around the subject who will then levitate several feet above the ground before redacted and va vanishing. As with SCP-37-A, no traces of the vanished subjects have ever been found. SCP-37-C manifests in the subjects with high IQ and analytic analytical or cont contemplative personality type and it's the most dangerous of the three manifestations. So manifestation I'll never exhibit. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Unfortunately, the majority of the Foundation's research staff are susceptible to SCP-370-C. Upon an initial infection, subjects will close their eyes and remain voluntarily still and silent for the average of 30 seconds. If questioned on this, subjects will claim to have been praying. Any infected subjects detected at this stage must be terminated immediately and by all any means necessary. After the initial infections, the subjects have will behave as normal but with significant increase in a sense of well-being. This system persists even when the subject is forced to into unpleasant conditions. Infected subjects seem to possess SB370 contagious knowledge about the appearance and exact nature of SB370, whether or not they have been exposed to such information. Subjects will actively and covertly attempt to spread SB370 infection, specifically targeting victims likely to manifest SB370-A or SB370-C. These efforts are likely to include, but not limited to, mentioning SB370 contagious information in casual conversation, attempting to have SB370 removed from containment for research or attempted disposal, adding SB370 factors to Foundation research notes or other documents, including this page, attempting to broadcast infectious material on a large scale. After about 15, 50 successful infections, SB370-C enters its final phase. During this phase, the air around the subject radiates a small amount of light in the visible spectrum, creating a faint yellow glow around the subject. This glow in induces a parasympathetic calming response in viewers and has a redactive chance of causing infection for every minute of visual contact. 
within about a day of this radiation appearing, regardless of any further successful infections, a flaming redacted burn marks on any surfaces it touches or passes through and leaving no trace of the infected subject. This event leaves behind an invisible patch of contagious space which infects anyone who passes through it. Patches seem to fade in approximately seven days, but as a precaution, should be avoided to avoided for a full two weeks. So did that clear things up for you, Hatchet? Yeah, that actually does, because what it implies is that the reason that information wasn't redacted is because someone with the third type of infection fucked with the record so that something so, so that we could actually be infected that's actually very well written i take back my statements earlier <laughs> are you okay yeah i kind of feel for like the dash a instances though because they get screwed over the most <laughs> yeah just <laughs> Yeah, just gets infected, um, immediately offs themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Oh, uh, yeah. Highly unfortunate. Um. Oh. I don't know. This... I feel like this could be XK. Because with the very nature of the internet... If, if if enough people started, like, if enough people got infected with the C variant, then all of humanity could get infected very quickly. See that? On the bright side, if everyone's infected, that'll probably leave Earth a lot happier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, unless you're C, or any oh, of the sorry, that's or and, unless you're, I mean, A, or any of the sorry sons of bitches that get killed by B. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it, but if you're smart, like everyone in this Discord server except for Bright, you'll be, you'll, you'll be happy. Fuck you. <laughs> we love you, Bright. Love you, Bright. Uh huh. What was that sound? What? What what did you say? I said uh-huh. Uh, uh on my end it sounded like you just went like made an indistinguishable like animal sound. <laughs> Bork. Oh. <laughs> anyway, she yeah, X. Is not an animal. Well, no, I'm just meant like I'm not saying that she is. I'm saying that on my end that's what it sounded like. Okay. Bray has turned uh, a female version of Tarzan, apparently. I wouldn't call Jane the same thing as a female Tarzan, but just no. Female yeah. Tarzan! So, either way, XK, not much debate, I think. Yeah. I didn't know a key could cause the end of the world. I mean, yeah. If that key causes... If that key causes everyone on Earth to either A, off themselves, B, start offing other people and then themselves, or C, try to make people do one of the previous, then that's a pretty dangerous key. <laughs> Sudden silence. Yep. I I um, silence keeps off my words. <laughs> Dis right. Discord is trying to add to my anxiety. Yeah. Also, I just looked at this one. This isn't a joke, SCP, but at first it's gonna sound like it. Okay. 
SCP-396 is a chair constructed of plastic and steel. At statistically random intervals, usually between 1 and 11 months, SCP-396 will displace itself in another chair somewhere on the planet Earth. Any living matter that is seated on SCP-396 or the seat it is displacing will also change places. This change is instantaneous. The approximate limits of this teleportation is, are unclear, but SP-396 is currently believed to be able to transport itself to any location on Earth. SCP-396 was discovered in a theater and redacted. Originally, it was classified as safe as this area effect was believed to be localized as the junior level researchers were frequently assigned to work with it. It is believed SCP-396 is able to listen to Nirai conversation and transported itself to locations mentioned by its research staff. Containment procedures and classification escalated until reaching their current levels. There are cur currently 1,111 locations that are unknown to have been discussed or mentioned in passing around SCP-396 that it may affect. It has been shown to be much more likely to affect locations that were mentioned repeatedly or in great detail. A full list is considered to be impossible due to the incomplete records of SCP-396 early time in containment. Alright, in the addendum, uh, on September 18th, 19 redacted. During regular testing of SCP-1609, the anomaly unexpectedly began to show aggression towards D-939668. However, before any personnel could be injured or killed, SCP-1609 was displaced by SCP-396 due to SCP-396 more remote location and secure containment chamber. There are no casualties and SP-1609 was recontained without additional incident. Mm -hmm. uh, after the incident, it was found that D-939668 had previously worked as a contractor in the construction of multiple GOC facilities. Security data is being reviewed to find out how SP-396 was able to displace itself to Storage Site-08. <laughs> I decided to see like after the addendum with places infected like it went to it went to the US Supreme Court <laughs> <laughs> so I mean one of the people there were sat in that chair <laughs> oh, no. oh. That's, that's fucking hilarious oh. okay so this is one of those things where I can see why it's Keter, because it's almost impossible to contain this thing because of those uh, incompetent guys at the beginning. Well, granted, they're not really incompetent. They were just careless and didn't know the full extent of this thing's abilities. Yeah. But literally nobody knew it could do that till it did it. Yeah, yeah and it, true. And it like does... it could. Yeah. I, wasn't it that it could teleport here and there, but they didn't know that it could, like, if you say it then it localized power until it started learning different locations, and then it's like, oh fuck. Yeah, How it's like, oh fuck. It? oh shit. <laughs> ah, fuck. Why? Ah, why would we and then, let? And then why... I'm sure there's been quite a few non-SCP personnel who have said even more locations around it. Yeah. So it's kind of one of those things, like. You can't blame the original people who did it, but the people who keep doing it, you also can't blame because they have no idea what the chair is, and it just... Yeah. You, you can't stop it. I I just imagine, like, like there's a meeting of people after that, and it's like, all right, all right. Who let Johnny ramble on about his vacation to Sicily f for that long? <laughs> chairs just bouncing around locations in Sicily they can't actually grab it <laughs> though the one thing is it says in, in like like I've I read in the latest addendum 
it can get aggressive. And apparently, yeah. a GOC agent's near it, or someone yeah, who works so, for them. Yeah, so so it's angry at the GOC, which fair. <laughs> what? Wait, you know wait. What they did to that wait, I wonder, cause this. Oh I wonder my if, god. I wonder if this is the di is. I'm not sure if I don't think it's the same SCP. It's not the same SCP. I wonder if it's related no. to that chair. He what? that the chair that the GOC pulled mulched. This chair was his friend. It was his friend. They were made at the same factory, <laughs> and you know now they might have been made by the same person since. Both of those yeah. chairs were so old, I doubt they were made at a factor at this point. Yeah. Yeah, true. So, point being, uh, this thing's only dangerous to GOC people, which means based. <laughs> uh, yeah. Otherwise, Personnel it's... Personnel persons like drug, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like, like otherwise, like, I, I think it's fair to say this thing's, re like, reclassified, since the only thing we're going off of is danger level. Right. Like, it's hard to contain, but it's just a fucking chair. <laughs> and even then, like, the even then, like, when it gets aggressive, it didn't actually, like, like, the person that it got aggressive toward wasn't actually hurt. Because it's a chair. <laughs> I think it was also because another SCP was there at the time. Yeah. Yeah, SCP-1609. Yeah. So... Uh, G keep the GOC away from it. And, uh... Chair. Chair. So, yeah. Well, the last SAP That's of the scary. night... I also don't like the GOP. The, the GOP? <laughs> the GOP. Well, you know what I meant. GOC. Yeah. So, what the okay, wait. Now I want to make a meme. So what does the GOC hmm. actually stand for? Uh, Global Occult Coalition. Okay, so, uh, He's the G... Now he's gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so, the GOP is the Global Occult Party. <laughs> Something Bright would do. Probably. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a political party that's entirely based on talking about SCPs, but no one believes them. <laughs> Somehow this feels like a conversation that could actually happen. Bright's talking to one of the security guys, and then one of the medical staff is just sitting there like, oh Jesus, what am I listening to? <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this SCP? Oh just... no. Is it another joke SCP? Yes! It's and amazing. Did you, it going to be the... did you say it was going to be the last for the night? Yeah, it's the last one. Okay. All right. SCP-404-J is a 20 meters by, by 50 meters by 5 meter brick wall in southern Iran estimated to have been erected in 15,000 BCE. SCP-404-J is composed entirely of an of an unknown mineral that has proven extremely resistant to, to destruction. Despite its age, the inscriptions on SP-404-J are completely in American English. The text of the inscription changes on a regular basis. Further information about SP-404-J is restricted to O5 Council. And I have added the inscription key. So here's what it says. Planet Earth by Jehovah writing... Negative 5,922. Planet Earth. Conversation. Mostly water. Also some other stuff. Dominant species. Humans. Other information. Look at my super cool planet. It has religious and goats and juice boxes. For more information, look around you. It's that simple. This is my first planet, so no downvotes, please. Tags. In extinction. Planet. Populated water <laughs> comments at king scarlet move to top for convenience beginning extinction vote for earth after the net rating breached negative 10 at pattern seconding at 
Helium Bambi, third. At Glossy Pan, fourth. At Glossy Pan, uh, Jehovah, please do not upvote your own planet. It's against the terms of service. Uh, at GK Eon, your your mom's against the term of service. <laughs> at GK Eon, welcome to Planet Shit Post. At M three K H four N three, this this is really good way to get banned. Eon, just saying. At GK Eon for calling a shit post a shit post. At three M three K H four N three. No, this planet is one of the most worst I've had. Uh, we've had in eons no doubt about it we just want to foster a sense of community here for new writers and constructive criticism at trafova you're a basic fish at n3 kh4 n3 you know what <laughs> fuck the sense community your planet's poop at he made light these humans are about as appealing as a pile of rotten entrails we Requesting summary extinction by admins. At Yalda Ba'uth. Well, hold up. I get that this IRL is crap, but why are we talking shit about rotten entrails? Dead flesh is just as good, if not better, than he living flesh. And the universe needs a lot of it for fuck's sake. Can you not, you literal piece of... Redacted. At 6-8-me-2. F me. They're letting anyone join these sites these days. At I Heart Strange Fruits CAC. This is only page of 1 in 3,000. 900. Uh, 1 in 3,492. I'm not reading the full th pages. But there's Wait, more. Hold, hold up. They made that much? Wait. No, I'm hitting next. Nothing happens. Damn it. Gosh damn it. That would have been so oh, good. Man. It just says pages. Page 1 of 3,492. Next. But I'm hitting next. Nothing happens. That would have been like, so cool, though. Oh my, like, like imagine they like put that basic prompt through an algorithm and just have the algorithm put together comments like that. Yeah. Oh my god, that would have been incredible. But either way, that is easily one of the best SCPs you've read in your life to us. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I was it, laughing it, so hard. <laughs> That's why I was laughing so hard when I saw it. I was like, oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> Also, there's no way in hell this is a Keter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it's. Oh, it's a spider. Where is spider? Oh, it's a Yeah. Okay, I'll try it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. There's. I'll, I'll grab one of each. Yeah, like, like I said, uh, there's no way this is a Keter. What do you What do you think, Hatchet? Oh, those two look identical. Um, my. Uh, you good, Jerry? Trust me, out of nowhere, I'm grabbing out macaroni to try them because she said they're gelato. Okay, so. I uh, had. Anyway, so. Um. On one hand, this is definitely one of the best SCPs that's ever been written. <laughs> literally just literally just like a reddit page about god creating the earth and a whole bunch of other cosmic entities saying that earth is trash yeah um, and that our creator basically sounds like a five-year-old i like how the first person who responded was a scarlet king that was also a nice detail but <laughs> yeah as as you mentioned this thing is like, the actual object itself is literally just a giant ancient brick wall. Why is this Keter? I don't know. It's amazing, but why is this Keter? It's not. I'd say re reassigned. This is, yeah, this is absolutely reassigned. We need a special category for, like, top-tier SCPs that need to be reassigned. Like, reassigned, but based. Reassigned, but based. I don't think I can recreate another tier. What? Oh wait, god, hold on. Sure. I can wait. Hold on. Edit. Can oh my I? god! Yes. Can I? Oh, oh! It's refreshing. It's refreshing. Oh gosh! What have I done? 
Okay, what the, 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 uh, show extra rolls, reassign, hold on, hold on, oh, <laughs> wait, 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 oh, oh, wait, wait, nothing happened, it's still there, <laughs> Try refreshing. Refresh. No, it's still there. I'll probably have to leave and come back out. But I'll move it, like, once I get it to work. Okay, but I think we should come up with something other than reassign top tier. <laughs> as the title. For this new tier that this is going to go into. Yeah. Oh, this is very good. Also, why are you so good at popping out of nowhere? I know you're a spider and a trapdoor spider, and that's what trapdoor spiders do, but... Jesus, Wait, this is perfect then. Name it Spood Tier. Spood Tier? <laughs> Spood Tier. <laughs> it needs to. It's not dangerous, but it's also great. Alright. <laughs> anyway. Spood Tier.